Hi, this is Andy Shabana Sultana, working as associate professor in Chebrol Engineering College, Chebrol. Today, I want to discuss about the solar energy. In that, in the last lecture, I explained about the solar water heaters. Today, I want to discuss about the solar thermal energy and this how the power is generated and how it is converted into the electricity and the photovoltaic cell or solar cell. The common renewable energy resources is the radiation energy which comes from the sun. Whatever the energy which is emitted from the sun is known as a solar energy which may be converted either into the thermal energy or into the electrical energy. Thermal energy for heating and electrical energy to run the electrical devices and appliances. It is generated in two different methods. There is a photovoltaic and a solar thermal energy. Coming to the first one that is a solar thermal energy, in the solar thermal energy, see, the power is generated in this way. Whatever the sun's rays which, which are emitted from the sun, it is captured or it is directly collected by the collector. So it is a, this is a parabolic dish, which is known as the collector. And the sun's rays are collected by the collector. How it is collected means whatever the sun's rays which are emitted from the sun, it is directly viewed on the pipes. And here in the parabolic plates, the pipes are there which are filled with the fluid. By absorbing the sun's rays heat, it gets heated. And this fluid, it transfers the heat by circulating through the heat exchanger. Here the heat exchanger is there, which produces the steam. By absorbing the heat from the sun's rays by the fluid, in the heat exchanger, where the heat is used to produce the steam. And this steam is used to rotate the turbine. So steam turbine and generate and the generator produces the electricity. So this steam is used to rotate the turbine and the generator to produce the electricity. Whatever the electricity which is produced in the turbine, it is transferred from the, it is stored, it is stored in the storage device and it is transfer, transferred into the substations for distribution. So this is the actual mechanism where the electricity is generated through the solar thermal energy. See here. In this technology, collectors are used to concentrate the sunlight with the mirrors or lenses and are mostly used to produce the electricity. This technique is known as concentrated solar power. The parabolic dish acts as a collector that focuses the sun's rays on the pipes. The parabolic dish contains concentrate, it collects and focus the sun's rays on the pipe filled with the fluid, which can transfer the heat and the fluid transferred through the heat exchanger where the heat is used to produce the steam. Whatever the steam which is produced in this is used to rotate the turbine or the generator to produce the electricity. The electricity is transferred to the substation for distribution. So this is the solar thermal energy. Coming to the second one, which is known as the photovoltaic cells. This photovoltaic cells is also known as solar cells. 
in this the semiconducting materials are used like i already discussed in the last lectures the semiconducting materials are the germanium or the silicon suppose if you take the silicon crystal this silicon crystal it is to be doped with a group of 15 and 13 group that means it is crystal silicon crystal suppose if it is doped with the indium there it appears the p type of semiconductor if it is doped with the arsenic n type of semiconductor will be formed in this the n type of semiconductors is to be arranged on the top layer so that the light energy directly falls on the n type of semiconductor and the p type of semiconductor will be arranged below the n type of semiconductor why because the electrons are present in the n type of semiconductor whereas in the p type of semiconductors the holes are present so whatever the electrons which are present in the n type of semiconductor after absorbing the light energy that means we are supplying the energy from outside whatever the energy which is absorbed by the electron in the n type of semiconductor that is which is present in the valence band it gets promoted to the conduction band and it crosses the pn junction this is the pn junction in which the depletion layer is present after absorbing the light energy by the electron it crosses the pn junction into the p type of semiconductor thereby the potential difference between the two layers is created which causes the flow of electrons that voltage whatever it is created that voltage it increases as the solar energy falls on the surface of the top layer if the solar energy falls on the surface of the top layer is more then the voltage is goes on increases thus when this n type and p type layers are connected to the external circuit electrons flow from n layer to p layer and hence the current is generated in this way the photovoltaic cell will works so the generation of the voltage across the pn junction in a semiconductor due to the absorption of the light radiation is called photovoltaic effect the device based on this effect is called photovoltaic device when pv cell are assembled they form the pv module or a panel and installation of the panel is called a pv array solar cells are often made from the slices of the semiconductor material such as a silicon crystal i already told the cell silicon crystal should be doped to form the p type and n type of semiconductor when the solar rays falls on the top layer of the n type of the semiconductor the electron from the valence band get promoted to the conduction band and crosses the pn junction and enter into the p type of semiconductor thereby the potential difference between the two layers is created which causes the flow of the wind that voltage increases as more solar rays falls on the surface of the top layer thus when this p and n layers are connected to the external circuit electrons flow from the n layer to the p layer and hence current is generated coming to the applications of the solar cell the main application of the solar cell it is used in the 
street light as it is generate the large scale or small scale electricity from the sunlight. And the solar photovoltaic cells are often electrically connected and encapsulated as a module, which are connected in series to create additive voltage and to yield a high current. To make use of the solar generated energy, the current is fed into electricity grid using the inverter in the stand, alone systems, and batteries to store energy. Solar panels is used for making the power or rechange the portable devices and heating water. So solar panels can be used for the solar street lightning, home lightning, and lanterns. Solar cells are majorly used in electronic industry for calculators, watches, radios, and TVs, and solar flashlights also. Solar power not only helps preserving the environment, but also a good economic renewable energy resources. That's why they are used for eco-friendly driving vehicles. Silicon solar cells are used as a power source in the spacecrafts and satellites. Solar cells can even be used in the remote places and in the forest to get electrical energy without affecting the temperature. Coming to the application of the solar energy, the first application is concentrating the solar power, which is known as CSP. Concentrating the solar power plant are utility scale generator that produce the electricity using the mirrors or lenses to efficiently concentrate the sun's energy. Second application is in the photovoltaic, which is known as the PV technology, which employs the solar cells of the solar photovoltaic array to convert the energy from the sun into electricity. I already discussed, the solar cell produces DC electricity, that is direct current electricity from the sun's rays, which can be used to power equipment or to rechange, recharge the batteries. Solar water heating system. Solar hot water system uses the sunlight to hot water, to heat the water. The systems are composed of solar thermal collector and a storage tank, and they may be active, passive, or back system. Passive solar energy means it concerns the building design to maintain its environment at a comfortable temperature through a sun's daily and annual cycles. And solar cars is also used. It is an electrical vehicle powered by energy obtained from the solar panels on the surface of the car, which converts the sun's energy directly into electrical energy. These solar cars are more currently in practical form of transportation. Solar power satellites are used. This solar power satellite is a proposed satellite built in high earth orbits that uses microwave power transmission to beam solar pass. Solar cookings. The use of solar energy for cooking purpose can be achieved by the development of the solar cookers. Regenerative fuel cell system, NASA, has long recognized the unique advantage of the regenerative fuel cell system to provide energy storage for solar power system in space. Solar pumping. In solar pumping, the power generated by the solar energy is utilized for pumping the water for irrigation purpose. Solar heating of building. Solar energy can be used for the space heating of building, whatever the spaces that are present in the walls of a building is to be heated 
in many ways, namely collecting the solar radiation by some elements of the building itself, that is solar energy is admitted directly into the building through large south facing windows. Using separate solar collectors, which may heat either the water or the air or storage devices, which can accumulate the collected solar energy for the use at night and during inclement days. Solar greenhouses. A greenhouse is a structure covered with the transparent material which is made up of a glass or a plastic that acts as a solar collector and utilizes the solar radiant energy to grow the plants. So this greenhouse is mainly used to grow the plants as a nursery. So in this, the transfer materials is covered, which is made up of the glass or the plastic. It acts as a solar collector and utilizes the solar radiant energy for the growth of the plant. So these are the applications of the solar energy. And next one is the hydroelectric power, which is also known as hydel power. Flowing water creates the energy that can be captured and turned into electricity. The power available in a river or a stream depends on the rate at which the water is flowing and the height which it falls down. The hydro schemes are classified into four groups, but the basic principle of operation are the same for all. That four groups are large scale, mini scale, micro scale, and the pico scale. Large scale means where the power output is about 2 megawatts and above. Mini scale means where the power output is 100 kilowatts to 2 kilowatts. Micro scale, the power output is 5 kilowatts to 100 kilowatts. And pico scale, where the power output is less than 5 kilowatts. That means hydro, the name itself indicates it is a water. Water, the electricity is generated from the water, moving water. Hydro means water and hydropower is derived from the force of moving water. Since water is much heavier than air, its movement generates more energy than the wind. Electricity generated with the hydropower is called hydroelectricity and it is a renewable source of energy. It is constantly being refilled by the water cycle, especially precipitation. The core of hydro steam is a turbine which is rotated. See here, there is a turbine which is rotated by the moving water. Different types of turbines are used depending on the head and flow at the site. For example, Pelton turbine are used for the low flow of water. Francis turbine is used for higher flow of water and also cross flow propeller turbines are used for the large flow of water. River current turbines are like a wind turbines immersed in the water, here, is immersed in the water and is used to extract the power from the large flow of water in rivers. 
coming to the working of the hydropower is during the rain or a small dam in a river belt direct the water to the settling tank which allows the silt to settle out of the water and a clean water flow in a canal or a pipe to the settling tank or four bay which is sited above the power house above the power house this one the canal or the pipe can be fairly long the outlet from the four bay has a spring to trap the silt and floating debris water flows out into the pipe which is known as a pen stock which is made as steep as possible to transfer the water to the turbine water leaving the turbine is let into is let into the stream through the outlet pipe or a tail race the collection area of the water flows to the dam at the dam water gets stored the potential energy of the water increases due to the height of the dam height of the dam in this the potential energy will increase when the control gates of the dam are open then the water moves with the high kinetic energy into the pen stock through the pen stock water goes into the turbine house it drives the blades of the turbine the turbine is connected to the electrical generator which produces the electric current this current is supplied to the power house from the power house it is supplied for the commercial purposes so this is about the solar thermal energy photovoltaic energy and hydro power energy or hydel power in the next lecture i'll explain about the geothermal energy and uh, the tidal and the wave power thank you